Hello everyone, and welcome to our deep dive into the fascinating world of sea anemones, and the unique symbiotic relationships they share with other marine creatures. So strap in for a journey beneath the waves. Although their name might suggest they are plants, sea anemones are fascinating marine creatures, sharing a close relation with both corals and jellyfish. They are a diverse group of species, with over 1,000 known varieties populating our oceans. But what makes them unique? Let's embark on a deep exploration of their biology, anatomy, and life cycle. Biology of Sea Anemones Sea anemones are invertebrates, which means they don't have a backbone. Unlike their relative, the jellyfish, anemones are sessile, they attach themselves to rocks or coral reefs and don't move around much. They come in many shapes and sizes, from a mere 1.2 inches in diameter to nearly 6 feet. What makes them further interesting is their variety of colors, which can range from plain white or gray to vibrant hues of red, green, and blue. Anatomy of Sea Anemones When you look at a sea anemone, the first thing you'll probably notice is the array of tentacles surrounding its mouth. These tentacles are armed with specialized cells called chitocytes, which contain tiny harpoons to inject toxins into prey or potential threats. But, there's more to them than what meets the eye. The body of a sea anemone is essentially a bag-like structure, which is partitioned into numerous sections called mesenteries. These mesenteries perform multiple functions such as digestion, reproduction, and act as structural support. Life Cycle of Sea Anemones The life cycle of sea anemones is an intriguing one. They can reproduce both sexually and asexually. In sexual reproduction, they release eggs and sperm into the water where fertilization takes place. The resulting larvae, called planula, swim until they find a suitable place to settle and develop into a new anemone. Asexually, they can reproduce by budding, where a new anemone grows out from the body of the parent, or by fission, in which the anemone splits into two or more parts. Remember, this outline will need to be expanded upon with more detailed information, anecdotes, and visual aids to make it more engaging and comprehensive. Sea anemones have quite a broad habitat range. They are found in every ocean, from the freezing Arctic and Antarctic waters to the warm tropical seas of the equator. This diversity in habitat has contributed to their evolutionary success, leading to a wide variety of species, each adapted to its unique environment. One of the most common habitats for sea anemones is tide pools and shallow waters. These regions have an abundance of food sources and sunlight, essential for those anemones hosting photosynthetic algae in their tissues. Species like the beadlet anemone and the green anemone are common sites in these areas. Let's explore their specific adaptations and how they manage to survive in this ever-changing environment. Coral reefs often referred to as the rainforests of the sea, are another important habitat for sea anemones. These vibrant ecosystems are filled with a wide range of potential food sources, allowing certain species of anemones to thrive. Here, we can find the magnificent sea anemone, hosting clownfish, or the giant carpet anemone, acting as a centerpiece in this rich, underwater world. Anemones in the deep sea. And then there are the extreme survivors, the anemones that inhabit the deep sea. These anemones have to survive without sunlight, under immense pressure, and in near freezing temperatures. Yet, they've managed to adapt in surprising ways. Let's delve into the mysteries of these deep sea anemones, such as the aptly named Venus flytrap anemone. Remember, this section should be expanded upon with more detailed information, examples, and visual aids to make it more engaging and to offer a complete understanding of the different environments where sea anemones live. 
Introduction to Symbiosis Symbiosis, in the simplest terms, refers to any kind of close, long-term interaction between two different species, but there's more to it than meets the eye. These relationships are intricate and critical to the survival of many species, including our subject of interest today, the sea anemones. Types of Symbiosis In nature, there are three primary types of symbiotic relationships, mutualism, where both species benefit, commensalism, where one species benefits and the other is not significantly affected, and parasitism, where one species benefits at the expense of the other. How do these types of symbiosis apply to sea anemones? Let's delve into some examples. An overview of mutualistic symbiosis in sea anemones. One of the most iconic examples of mutualistic symbiosis is the relationship between sea anemones and clownfish. The sea anemone provides the clownfish with protection from predators, thanks to its stinging tentacles, while the clownfish provides food for the anemone and helps to keep it clean. But this relationship doesn't happen overnight, there's a process that allows clownfish to become immune to the anemone's sting. An overview of commensalistic symbiosis in sea anemones. Commensalistic relationships in sea anemones can be seen with various species that live among the anemone's tentacles or base, deriving protection without causing harm or significant benefit to the anemone. An example of this is the relationship between anemone and certain types of crabs. This section can be further expanded with more examples, visuals, and animations for a comprehensive understanding of symbiosis and how it is exhibited by sea anemones. Clownfish are not the sole beneficiaries of the sea anemone's protective arms. Other creatures have also evolved intricate symbiotic relationships with these fascinating marine invertebrates. Let's explore some of these surprising partnerships. Anemone Shrimp One of the remarkable partners of sea anemones is the anemone shrimp. These shrimp species live among the tentacles of anemones gaining protection from predators. But what's in it for the anemones? The shrimp, in return, provide cleaning services by removing debris and parasites from their host. Let's take a deeper look into this mutualistic relationship and understand how shrimp withstand the anemone's stinging cells. Anemone Crab The anemone crab, with its characteristic flattened body and sharp claws, also shares a mutualistic symbiotic relationship with sea anemones. The anemone crab uses the anemone as a protective fortress against predators, while the anemone benefits from the crab's leftover meals. But there's more to this relationship. Let's uncover how the crab manages to avoid getting stung by its host anemone. Other Symbiotic Partners Beyond shrimp and crabs, anemones partner with a multitude of marine creatures. For example, the symbiotic relationship between certain species of anemones and zooxanthellae, a type of algae. In this relationship, the anemone provides the algae with protection and nutrients, while the algae photosynthesize and provide oxygen and glucose to the anemone. Over the course of our exploration, we've seen the fascinating world of sea anemones. From their unique biology and diverse habitats, to their complex symbiotic relationships, we've come to understand that these seemingly simple creatures play a critical role in maintaining the balance of our marine ecosystems. Sea anemones contribute to the ecological balance in numerous ways. They act as a home, providing shelter for many marine creatures. They also serve as a food source for a variety of species. Moreover, through their symbiotic relationships, they facilitate the survival and success of species like the clownfish, anemone shrimp, and anemone crab. Thus, the existence and well-being of these partner species are intricately linked to the health of the sea anemones. 
As we reflect on the intricate interactions that exist beneath the ocean's surface, it's impossible not to marvel at the complexity of life that thrives there. Each species, from the smallest microorganism to the largest whale, has a role to play in maintaining this balance. The symbiotic relationships that we've explored today illustrate the remarkable ways in which different species depend on each other for survival. This reinforces the interconnectedness of life in our oceans and reminds us of the importance of preserving these intricate ecosystems for future generations. Thank you for joining us on this deep dive into the world of sea anemones and their fascinating symbiotic relationships. We hope you've enjoyed this exploration as much as we have and that it's inspired a greater appreciation for the complexity and wonder of our marine ecosystems. Remember, each one of us can play a part in conserving these beautiful and intricate ecosystems. Every action we take, no matter how small, can contribute to the preservation of our oceans and the incredible life they sustain. If you enjoyed this journey and want to learn more about the mysteries of our oceans, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We regularly upload content about marine life and the incredible biodiversity that exists beneath the waves.